Everybody knows the light bulb was invented by Thomas Edison, right? Well, in our book, 10 Incredible Inventions, Rune Marcus and I told the story of Louis Latimer. He was a young black man born by parents who fled from slavery in the southern states of the USA. And he made an improvement on an early version of the light bulb, along with many other inventors who worked on different light bulb prototypes for decades leading up to Edison's famous one. Because inventions are not usually the work of a lone genius, but rather the result of a collective effort. The scientists who invented the birth control pill were named Gregory Pincus and John Rock, but behind them stood Margaret Sanger and Catherine McCormick. They started the research, they funded it, and they convinced the public that women should be in control of their own bodies, just like men. The pill itself would go on to transform women's role in society. Innovation is not only about technology, but also about money, culture, and politics. James Hanger lost his leg in the American Civil War, and he invented a new kind of prosthetic leg that also became useful for many others. Today, modern technology has made it easier than ever to solve your own problems and share the solutions. Through online networks, people can help invent better prostheses for themselves, and they can even print prototypes in makerspaces in their own local libraries. Never before has it been easier to become an inventor than today. Our book tells stories about big inventions like the atomic bomb, about small inventions like the sewing needle, about what makes innovation possible, such as the scientific method, about old ideas like the printing press, and new ones like autotune and how they all have changed how we behave and how we think and how we communicate.